The Battle of Madagascar was the British campaign to capture Vichy French-controlled Madagascar during World War II. It began with Operation Ironclad, the seizure of the port of Diego Suarez near the northern tip of the island, on 5 May 1942. A subsequent campaign to secure the entire island, Operation Streamline Jane, was opened on 10 September. Fighting ceased and an armistice was granted on 6 November. Background. Geopolitical Ansaranana is a large bay with a fine harbour near the northern tip of the island of Madagascar and has an opening to the east through a narrow channel called Orangia Pass. The naval base of Ansirane lies on a peninsula between two of the four small bays enclosed within the Ansiranana Bay. Ansiranana Bay cuts deeply into the northern tip of Madagascar, almost severing it from the rest of the island. In the 1880s, the bay was coveted by France, which claimed it as a coaling station for steamships traveling to French possessions further east. The colonization was formalized after the First Franco-Hover War when Queen Ranavalona III signed a treaty on 17 December 1885 giving France a protectorate over the bay and surrounding territory, as well as the islands of Nosy B and Saint. Marie de Madagascar. The colony's administration was subsumed into that of French Madagascar in 1897. In 1941, Ansiranana Town, the bay and the channel were well protected by naval, shore batteries. Axis following the Japanese conquest of Southeast Asia east of Burma by the end of February 1942, submarines of the Imperial Japanese Navy were moving freely throughout the north and eastern expanses of the Indian Ocean. In March 1942, Japanese aircraft carriers conducted the Indian Ocean raid upon shipping in the Bay of Bengal and bases in Colombo and Trincomalee and Ceylon. This raid drove the British Eastern Fleet out of the area and they were forced to relocate to a new base at Kilindini, near Mombasa, in Kenya. The move made the British fleet more vulnerable to attack. The possibility of Japanese naval forces using forward bases in Madagascar had to be addressed. The potential use of these facilities particularly threatened Allied merchant shipping, the supply route to the British Eighth Army and also the Eastern Fleet. Japanese submarines had the longest range of any Axis forces subs at the time, more than 10,000 miles in some cases, but being challenged by the U.S. Navy's then relatively new Gato-class fleet submarines 11,000 nautical mile top range figures. If the IJN subs were able to utilize bases on Madagascar, Allied lines of communications would be affected across a region stretching from the Pacific and Australia, to the Middle East and as far as the South Atlantic. On 17 December 1941, Vice Admiral Fricker, Chief of Staff of Germany's Maritime Warfare Command, met Vice Admiral Naro Kuni Nomura. The Japanese naval attaché, in Berlin to discuss the delimitation of respective operational areas between the Kriegsmarine and Imperial Japanese Navy forces. At another meeting on 27 March 1942, Fricker stressed the importance of the Indian Ocean to the Axis powers and expressed the desire that the Japanese begin operations against the northern Indian Ocean sea routes. Fricker further emphasized that Ceylon, the Seychelles and Madagascar should have a higher priority for the Axis navies than operations against Australia. By 8 April, the Japanese announced to Fricka that they intended to commit four or five submarines and two auxiliary cruisers for operations in the western Indian Ocean between Aden and the Cape, but they refused to disclose their plans for operations against Madagascar and Ceylon, only reiterating their commitment to operations in the area. Allies The Allies had heard the rumors of Japanese plans for the Indian Ocean and on 27 November 1941, the British Chiefs of Staff discussed the possibility that the Vichy government might cede the whole of Madagascar to Japan, or alternatively permit the Japanese Navy to establish bases on the island. 
British naval advisers urged the occupation of the island as a precautionary measure. On 16 December, General Charles de Gaulle, leader of the Free French in London, sent a letter to the British Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, in which he also urged a Free French operation against Madagascar. Churchill recognized the risk of a Japanese-controlled Madagascar to Indian Ocean shipping particularly to the important sea route to India and Ceylon, and considered the port of Diego Suarez as the strategic key to Japanese influence in the Indian Ocean. However, he also made it clear to planners that he did not feel Britain had the resources to mount such an operation and, following experience in the Battle of Dhaka in September 1940, did not want a joint operation launched by British and Free French forces to secure the island. By 12 March, Churchill had been convinced of the importance of such an operation and the decision was reached that the planning of the invasion of Madagascar would begin in earnest. It was agreed that the Free French would be explicitly excluded from the operation. As a preliminary battle outline, Churchill gave the following guidelines to the planners and the operation was designated Operation Bonus. Force H, the ships guarding the western Mediterranean, should move south from Gibraltar and should be replaced by an American task force. The 4,000 men in ships proposed by Lord Mountbatten for the operation should be retained as the nucleus around which the plan should be built. The operation should commence around 30 April 1942. In the event of success, the commandos recommended by Mountbatten should be replaced by garrison troops as soon as possible. On 14 March, Force 121 was constituted under the command of Major General Robert Sturges of the Royal Marines with Rear Admiral Edward Seifert being placed in command of Naval Force H and the supporting sea force. Allied Preparations Force 121 left the Clyde in Scotland on 23 March and joined up with South African-born Admiral Seifert's ships at Freetown in Sierra Leone, proceeding from there in two convoys to their assembly point at Durban on the South African east coast. Here they were joined by the 13th Brigade Group of the 5th Division, General Sturge's force consisting of three infantry brigades while Admiral Seifert's squadron consisted of the flag battleship HMS Ramillies, the aircraft carriers HMS Illustrious and HMS Indomitable, the cruisers HMS Hermione and HMS Devonshire, 11 destroyers, 6 minesweepers, 6 corvettes and auxiliaries. It was a formidable force to bring against the 8,000 men at Diego Suarez, but the chiefs of staff were adamant that the operation was to succeed, preferably without any fighting. This was to be the first British amphibious assault since the disastrous landings in the Dardanelles 27 years before. During the assembly in Durban, Field Marshal Jan Smuts pointed out that the mere seizure of Diego Suarez would be no guarantee against continuing Japanese aggression and urged that the ports of Majunga and Tamatave be occupied as well. This was evaluated by the chiefs of staff, but it was decided to retain Diego Suarez as the only objective due to the lack of manpower. Churchill remarked that the only way to permanently secure Madagascar was by means of a strong fleet and adequate air support operating from Ceylon, and sent General Archibald Wavell a note stating that as soon as the initial objectives had been met, all responsibility for safeguarding Madagascar would be passed on to Wavell. He added that when the commandos were withdrawn, Garrison duties would be performed by two African brigades and one brigade from the Belgian Congo or west coast of Africa. In March and April, the South African Air Force had conducted reconnaissance flights over Diego Suarez and no. 32, 36 and 37 coastal flights were withdrawn from maritime patrol operations and sent to Lindy on the Indian Ocean coast of Tanganyika, with an additional 11 Bristol Beauforts and 6 Martin Marylands to provide close air support during the planned operations campaign. Allied commanders decided to launch an amphibious assault on Madagascar. 
The task was Operation Ironclad and executed by Force 121. It would comprise Allied naval, land and air forces and be commanded by Major General Robert Sturges of the Royal Marines. The British Army Landing Force comprised 29th Independent Infantry Brigade Group, No. 5 Commando and two brigades of the 5th Infantry Division, the latter en route to India with the remainder of their division. The Allied naval contingent consisted of over 50 vessels, drawn from Force H, the British Home Fleet and the British Eastern Fleet, commanded by Rear Admiral Edward Neville Seifert. The fleet included the aircraft carrier Illustrious, her sister ship Indomitable and the aging battleship Ramillies to cover the landings. Landings following many reconnaissance missions by the SAF, the first wave of the British 29th Infantry Brigade and No. 5 Commando landed in assault craft on 5 May 1942. Follow-up waves were by two brigades of the 5th Infantry Division and Royal Marines. All were carried ashore by landing craft to Curia Bay and Ambarrarata Bay, just west of the major port of Diego Suarez, at the northern tip of Madagascar. A diversionary attack was staged to the east. Air cover was provided mainly by ferry albacore and ferry swordfish torpedo bombers which attacked Vichy shipping. They were supported by Grum and Martlet fighters from the fleet air arm. A small number of SAF planes assisted. The defending Vichy forces, led by Governor-General Armand L. E. Acuto N. Anit, included about 8,000 troops, of whom about 6,000 were Malagasy T. Ryers. A large proportion of the rest were Senegalese. Between 1,500 and 3,000 Vichy troops were concentrated around Diego Suarez. However, naval and air defences were relatively light and or obsolete. Eight coastal batteries, two armed merchant cruisers, two sloops, five submarines, 17 Moran Saul near 406 fighters and 10 Pertes 63 bombers. The French defence was highly effective in the beginning and the main Allied force was brought to a halt by the morning of 6 May. The deadlock was broken when the old destroyer HMS Antony dashed straight past the harbour defences of Diego Suarez and landed 50 Royal Marines. Amidst the Vichy rear area, the Marines created disturbance in the town out of all proportion to their numbers, and the Vichy defence was soon broke on. Diego Suarez was surrendered on 7 May, although substantial Vichy forces withdrew to the south. The Japanese submarines I-10, I-16 and I-20 arrived three weeks later on 29 May. I-10's reconnaissance plane spotted HMS Ramleys at Anchor in Diego Suarez Harbor but the plane was spotted and Ramleys changed her berth. I-20 and I-16 launched two midget submarines one of which managed to enter the harbour and fired two torpedoes while under depth charge attack from two corvettes. One torpedo seriously damaged Ramleys, while the second sank the 6,993-ton oil tanker British loyalty. Ramleys was later repaired in Durban and Plymouth. The crew of one of the midget submarines, Lieutenant Saburo Akieda and Petty Officer Masami Takemoto, beached their craft at Nosy Antalikli and moved inland towards their pickup point near Cape Amber. They were informed upon when they bought food at the village of Anajaba and both were killed in a firefight with Royal Marines three days later. One Marine was killed in the action as well. The second midget submarine was lost at sea and the body of one of its crew was found washed ashore a day later. Ground campaign hostilities continued at a low level for several months. After the 19th of May, two brigades of the 5th Infantry Division were transferred to India. On the 8th of June, the 22nd Brigade Group arrived on Madagascar. The 7th South African Motorized Brigade arrived on the 24th of June. The 27th Infantry Brigade landed on the 8th of August. On 10 September the 29th Brigade and 22nd Brigade Group made an amphibious landing at Majunga, in the northwest to relaunch Allied offensive operations ahead of the rainy season. 
Progress was slow for the Allied forces though. In addition to occasional small-scale clashes with enemy forces, they also encountered scores of obstacles erected on the main roads by Vichy soldiers. The Allies eventually captured the capital, Tananarev, without much opposition, and then the town of Ambalivo. The last major action was at Andromanalina on 18 October. An armistice was signed in Ambalivo on 6 November, and Anat surrendered near Ihozi, in the south of the island, on 8 November 1942. The Allies suffered about 500 casualties in the landing at Diego Suarez and 30 more killed and 90 wounded in the operations which followed on 10 September. Aftermath, Free French General Paul Lee Gentil Homer was appointed High Commissioner for Madagascar. Like many colonies, Madagascar sought its independence following the war. In 1947, the island experienced the Malagasy Uprising, a costly revolution that was crushed in 1948. It was not until 26 June 1960, about 12 years later, that the Malagasy Republic successfully proclaimed its independence from France. Campaign service in Madagascar did not qualify for the British and Commonwealth Africa Star. It was instead covered by the 1939-1945 Star. Order of Battle Allied Forces Naval Forces Battleships HMS Ramleys HMS War Spite Aircraft Carriers HMS Illustrious HMS Indomitable Cruises HMS Birmingham HMS Dauntless HMS Gambia HMS Hermione HMS Devonshire HNL MS Jacob Van Heemskirk Mine Layer HMS Manxman Monitor HMS Erebus Seaplane Carrier HMS Albatross Destroyers HMS Active HMS Antony HMS Arrow HMS Blackmore HMS Duncan HMS Fortune HMS Foxhound HMS and Constant HMS Hotspur HMS Javelin HMS Lafferay HMS Lightning HMS Lookout HMAS Napier HMAS Nepal HMAS Nism HMAS Norman HMS Pakenham HMS Paladin HMS Panther HNLMS Van Galen HNLMS Turk Hiddus Corvettes HMS Freesha HMS Auricular HMS Nigella HMS Fritillary HMS Janister HMS Cyclamen HMS Time HMS Jasmine Minesweepers HMS Cromer HMS Pool HMS Romney HMS Cromarty Assault Transports HMS Winchester Castle HMS Royal Ulsterman HMS Karen HMS Karanja MS Sobieski Special Ships HMS HMS Derwentdale, HMS Batchelk Aero Troop Ships, SS Orange SS Duchess of Athol RMS Franconia Stores and Mount Ships SS Empire Kingsley M, S Thaliter SS Mahout SS City of Hong Kong SS Men Bank SS Martin II Ground Forces 29th Infantry Brigade arrived via amphibious landing near Diego Suarez on 5 May 1942 Second South Lancashire Regiment 2nd East Lancashire Regiment 1st Royal Scots Fusiliers 2nd Royal Welch Fusiliers 455th Light Battery MG Company B Special Service Squadron with 6 Valentine and 6 Tetrarch Tanks Commandos arrived via amphibious landing near Diego Suarez on 5 May 1942 No. 5 Commando British 17th Infantry Brigade Group landed near Diego Suarez as second wave on 5 May 1942 Second Royal Scots Fusiliers 2nd Northamptonshire Regiment 6th Seaforth Highlanders 9th Field Regiment British 13th Infantry Brigade landed near Diego Suarez as third wave on 6 May 1942 Departed the 19th of May 1942 for India. Second Cameronians, Second Royal Inniskilling Fusiliers, Second Wiltshire Regiment, East African Brigade Group arrived the 22nd of June to replace 13 and 17 Brigade South African, Seventh Motorised Brigade, Rhodesian, 27th Infantry Brigade arrived the 8th of August 1942. Departed the 29th of June 1944. Second Northern Rhodesian. 
Rhodesia Regiment, 3rd Northern Rhodesia Regiment, 4th Northern Rhodesia Regiment, 55th Light Battery, 57th Field Battery Fleet Air Arm Aboard, HMS Illustrious 881 Squadron, 12 Grumman F4F4 F4 Wildcat, 882 Squadron, 8 Grumman F4F4 F4 Wildcat, 1 Fairy Fulmar, 810 Squadron, 10 Fairy Swordfish, 829 Squadron 10 Fairy Swordfish aboard HMS Indomitable 800 Squadron 8 Fairy Fulmar 806 Squadron 4 Fairy Fulmar 880 Squadron 6 Hawker C. Hurricane MKIA 827 Squadron 12 Fairy Albacore 831 Squadron 12 Fairy Albacore Vichy France Naval Forces Merchant Cruiser Bougainville 2 Sloop Dondrecasto Submarines Bevaziers HE Acutaros Mongeland Forces The following order of battle represents the Malagasy and Vichy French forces on the island directly after the initial ironclad landings. West Coast 2 Platoons of Reservists and Volunteers at NOCBE Acute 2 Companies of the Regiment Mixed Malgish at Ambania 1 Battalion of the Wanner RMM at Majunga East Coast 1 Battalion of the Wanner RMM at Tamatave 1 Artillery Section at Tamatave 1 Company of the Wanner RMM at Brickerville Center of the Island 3 Battalions of the Wanner RMM at Tananarive 1 Motorized Reconnaissance Detachment at Tananari Vemern Battery at Tananarive, 1 Artillery Section at Tananarive, 1 Engineer Company at Tananarive, 1 Company of the 1 RMM at Mevar Tanana, 1 Company of the BTM at Fianaranto, a south of the island, other 1 Company of the BTM at Fort Dolphin, 1 Company of the BTM at Tulea, Japan Naval Forces, Submarines I 10, I 16, I 18, I 20. Midget Submarines M16B, M20B, 